Hi, I'm Alan Hadley, and I'm going to show you how to use the chroma key, or it, as it's become known, green screen effect on a power director. Any one of them. Let's take a look. So first what you're going to do is you're going to open Power Director duh, and then you're going to get your green screen video which I have right here. So you're going to you're going to get your green screen video and you're going to put it onto the second track. And now it's vital that you put it onto the second track otherwise this won't work. So then just double click on it to get into the pip designer and now click here where it says enable chroma key and then click on the eyedropper. Now my lighting here is a bit uneven so I'm going to choose something that's kind of in the middle here. So um, let's go with this, that's kind of in the middle. Yeah. And now as you see it's turned mostly black so I usually always put the edge sharpness to 6 so now it's a bit more black and then you can adjust the, tool, the hue and saturation and luminance. Uh, just pull the hue up so you get the right color there or the color that you need to raise and the saturation a bit and then the luminance, the luminance always helps to pull it up a bit uh, but not too much because otherwise uh, there's going to be big chunks of your body missing but yeah so let's see what this looks like now so then there's me doing <laughs> what the hell am I doing? summoning Slenderman probably there we go Oh no. I hate myself. Ah, epilepsy. And there's me taking off my shirt and I had a green shirt underneath so my torso, part of my torso is now gone. And uh, another feature is what I like to call the invisibility cloak. Where you can just take another sheet of green green wh green whatever material and then just wrap it over yourself so it's just your head floating around in outer space or you can just make yourself completely invisible but here you need the lighting to be like pretty good like pretty smooth that everything's just about the same color so then you just click save and then you then you're gonna insert your background right there and uh, let me just stretch this so it can fit the image and, and the video Give me one moment. Okay then. Right. So that's that done then. And now let's let's see what the finished thing looks like. So and yes, Slenderman dance. Perfect. You can see it's not entirely perfect, but we don't need it to be. And there, ooh, th yeah, see, la that's the lighting. You need the lighting to be pretty good. My green shirt wasn't exactly the green of the green screen that I had, so this won't happen with you if you have a green similar. And here's the invisibility cloak. And again, lighting. Lighting will fix that. And there you see me, my head floating around in a rainbow, and then completely invisible me and you can see it, the piece of green cloth I don't know <laughs> yeah, that's what it is cloth. but I have another little trick that I can do with this uh, this is kinda of like the invis invisibility cloak feature but with my shirt so you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the green screen this time you're going to uh, pull the eyedropper over your shirt and you can do this with basically any color but I don't know why it has to be green actually I have no idea. So this would look somewhat like this and now this is a bit tricky because you have to make sure that there's nothing else that's green in the background. But I think this is going pretty well. Cool t-shirt. And then here's also the cloak, a uh, piece of cloth if you will. Right there. Okay. So and that's that and thank you. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and uh, more tutorials like this and a lot of other stuff. Uh, like this video if it helped you. I hope this helps you with your editing skills and uh, yeah, have, a, have a nice day I guess. <laughs> I don't really know how to end these videos. Why did I make this so slow? God damn it. Okay, there it goes. Bye.